In this example, we're going to factor the expression 10h to the 7th minus 360h to the 5th. Well, the first thing to do with any algebraic expression when you're factoring it is to look for a greatest common factor that can be factored out first. So it looks like between 10 and 360, I can factor a 10 out. And since both terms have an h, 1 is to the power of 7 and 1 is to the power of 5, I can take an h to the 5th out. Okay, when I do that, what I'm left with is h squared minus 36. And it looks like now that h squared minus 36 is going to be the difference of two perfect squares. So we know we can split that up. So you can ask yourself, what got squared to give me h squared? Well, it was h. And what got squared to give me 36? Well, that was 6. So I know this will be h minus 6 and h plus 6 for the difference of squares factorization. So 10h to the 7th minus 360h to the 5th will factor to 10h to the 5th times the quantity h minus 6 times the quantity h plus 6 when we use this difference of squares factorization.